Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. Today we're going to be reviewing Big Valley by Bally Pinball. Uh, great looking fixed date game. Uh, please look for our review underneath the description of our uh, YouTube video as well as like and follow us on Arcade and Pinball Talk under groups on Facebook. Uh, you can find us Arcade Pinball Talk on Instagram. Just join Twitter as well as look at that red da button down there. It says subscribe. Go ahead and click that thing. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? So first impressions, I'm actually liking the layout of this this, uh, this older game here. You have a magic post that just popped up in the middle. So that was triggered somehow, so we'll see how that was triggered here in a second. But anyway, you have a, a magic post. I guess it was triggered by that, that ball lock to the top left. It says it opens Fox's gate. That's a pretty neat little element on this table already. You got some bumpers to the middle. You got four, uh, four they call them mushroom bumpers, the old terminology there with the, uh, the points to the top of it. Uh, you have some ball locks to the top and the right. Uh, obviously it opens Gopher's Gate is what we're going to be trying to do. You got that magic post there to the bottom, which now has gone away. So obviously, uh, as you can see here above my right flipper, you can see it says down post and down post as well on the left of the horse. So those are trigger buttons as well as you have a gate open when lit to the right and you have some kickers over there, uh, some rollovers to the right which is, a, which is uh, the Gold Canyon. So we'll see, well, well we got some kickers too. So some people call them bumpers, some people call them kickers to the bottom near the flippers. You know, this, this type of setup I'd rather just use the term kicker because it is definitely not like a bumper like the mushroom bumpers to the, to the middle of the table. So now, both balls are locked, uh, so you have columns and some peg uh, pegs that are in the middle with a column with a rollover, 5,000 when lit. So the secret here is to try to get, eh, too much force, try to get it up that, that area. And I was trying to do it just from the plunger. And that'll go through all those rollovers there. And so that, that just released one of the balls. So I wanna go ahead and plunge this. Actually, it will not let me plunge, it's holding it. Well, I wish I would have known that. But anyway, there we go. So it wasn't gonna allow me to go ahead and release that, that plunge ball to get a multi-ball going. It was holding it, so that was just the mode it was in. And again, you gotta kinda play these games a couple times. There we go, so we're, we're locked again. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Bounce back, see if it goes, nope. All in all, paddle gap, uh, you know, using the term paddle is a flipper for me. I use both uh, intravenously. I've always called them paddles since I was a kid. It's ironic. I've been playing pinball for a long time, and I've always called them paddles, funny enough. But uh, anyway, using uh, proper terminology, the flipper flipper gap is, uh, is, is semi-wide. It's not super wide by any means, especially from the age of this table. I will say your mushroom bumpers in the middle, as you just saw there, there's obviously the ability to ball out very quickly and for it to go down the drain from that, that one that's lit in the middle. Good thing for that magic post, but you know, the way that this game is laid out, I mean, it really kind of wants you to go right or left of the table to your out lanes to go ahead and ball out and go down the drain. And those kickers that are near the flippers throw you off. That's, that's one thing that I like about some of the older games is uh, the fact that you have that. But all in all, table mechanics of this game are, are laid out really good. I actually enjoy this one. I'm enjoying it as we speak. Uh, and uh, it, it's pretty nifty. I mean, you got the ball locks. Obviously it balls out very quickly like most pinballs somewhat do. And again, this is a little different because you get five balls on this game. There you go. Got a 5,000 one lit on that. Finally hit it. That was my mission for this whole review was to hit that middle area but anyway table mechanics are good it's uh it's laid out great ball speed is actually moderate it's not super quick replayability of this table big valley is definitely there this is a fun one uh, if you can find this in mechanical form absolutely try to go play it i think you will enjoy it just as much as i am right now uh, it's definitely laid out well Fun factor on this game, uh, I, I wish there was a soundtrack to it, uh, but again, these older, you know, wood rail tables, they just didn't have it. It was clinging and banging, and, and that's pretty much all there is to it. That doesn't take away from it. Now, again, when we do our reviews, we score on soundtrack. So what we do is we take an average of a seven if there is 
there is no soundtrack, again, because we don't want to take away from the ability of the game to be a fun play or for it to rank really low uh, based off of that being the, the case. So we went ahead and released Multiball and it just went ahead and took it again. So very interesting. This is a cool little game. Now uh, there's some uh, methodical thinking behind this one. So yeah, definitely one worth looking at. Big Valley, Valley. It's a, it's a fun game. Check it out. Please look for our description underneath the review. And uh, thank you again for watching today.